Hi, welcome to the Craft Review. I'm Jeremy, and today for International Stout Day, we have the Stone Belgo Anise Imperial Russian Stout. It's their 2011 Odd Year series, and it's made with anise chips and Belgian yeast. Uh, this beer looked really interesting when I picked it up. I was actually looking for their normal Imperial Russian Stout, and this caught my eye. Um, I, I don't know, my, my taste on black licorice is a little variant, but, you know, I decided to give it a try, you know, there's nothing wrong with giving something a whirl. So, let's open her up. Alright. Now, as you can see, it pours a black, inky black... You know, your typical Imperial Russian Stout style. Can't see anything through it. At 10.5% alcohol, you really don't see that much of a head either. Uh, it looks like a really good beer. There's, maybe because of my pour, but there's a very small head on it. You know, khaki, khaki color, not even one finger head on it. I would expect that a lot from a 10.5% beer, but nonetheless, you know, it's something you should expect. All right, for the smell. Hmm. I get a lot of, a lot of licorice, really. That's the first thing that hits me. Uh, very big anise, you know, hits you right in the nostrils. Under that, I get a, a little bit of, like, caramel. I get some molasses. But really, the big thing is that licorice. A lot of anise to it. Uh, I'm kind of a little scared of it, really. Uh, as I mentioned, licorice really isn't my thing. But, hey, <laughs> once you buy it, you got to drink it. All right, for the taste. Cheers. Oof. I get a lot of licorice in that. Although it's not really bad. It really mixes well with, with the coffee flavors. A lot of roasted coffee taste to it. Uh, I get a little bit of a, you know, a chocolate undertone, as you do with most stouts. Um, definitely, definitely a big, big beer. At 10 point, was it, 10.5% uh, alcohol, you know, you get a little bit of booze to it. But really, nothing you can't handle. It's not like it's not like their their double bastard ale, where personally I got a lot of booziness, a lot of burning on the back of the throat. You get a little bit here, but nothing really you can't handle. It's it's actually quite pleasurable in its own way. Once again, there's a lot of licorice in there. A lot of anise, which which blends pretty well with the with the chocolate in there. Uh, it mixes very well with the with the mouthfeel. It's full body, you know. It sticks to your tongue. It's it's a little low on the carbonation, which I would expect. And it's very very smooth. I I, I really do like how well this beer drinks for ten point five percent. I really expected a little bit more harsher of a drink, maybe a sipping beer, but. Surprisingly, it, it goes down fairly smooth. Yeah, I uh, I definitely would say this is one of the better beers that goes down for such a high alcohol content. <clears throat> but once again, that licorice mixed with the coffee and the chocolate, it's actually a very well blended beer. It's it's fairly balanced considering how much in these chips they actually put inside it. As this beer is starting to warm up, I'm getting a little bit more alcohol on the on the end of the tongue, which it's still nothing overwhelming, but I'd just like to note that as this beer gets a little bit a little bit warmer, the, the the flavors really start to pop out. A lot more black licorice, you know, a little bit more alcohol on the end of the tongue, but still a, a very well balanced beer. Uh, I was reading up on the reviews, and you know it's 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 a mixed crowd. I mean, not everybody likes black licorice. I can understand that. Um, 
it really didn't get the reviews I thought it would. Most people were sitting, I don't know, around a around a C plus, B minus, as others were sitting around maybe a B plus to an A minus. It's really not that big of a span, but at the same time, when you think of the beer world, generally you get a good consensus, a good good middle road. Eh, but as I said, black licorice isn't for everybody, so I, I guess I'm not very surprised. Anyways, I'm going to finish the rest of this beer, and once I get finished, I'll get back to you. Cheers. Alright, and we're back for the final verdict. <clears throat> Coming into this, I really didn't know what to expect. I was a little hesitant to drink it, just because, as I mentioned, I'm really not a fan of black licorice or anything really anise-flavored. But surprisingly, this beer came through for me. Uh, it's it's balanced. It's, it's very well-flavored. The licorice flavor balances well with the coffee and the chocolate flavors already apparent in this beer. And... Even though it did, as it warmed up, get a little bit more alcohol burn to it and a lot more licorice flavor, it still was a very solid beer. If I would give this a grade, I would definitely give it a solid B. It's a very well done beer. Um, as I mentioned, not a big fan of black licorice. If it was a regular Russian Imperial, I'd give it an A. But considering what they've done with it and considering I hate black licorice, it's still a very solid beer. Uh, definitely something I'll put up on my collection. So, for next time, uh, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing. Maybe uh, maybe the Gonzo Porter. I don't know. But until then, cheers. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh... This is my beautiful fiance, Allison. Uh, she's actually the one that bought me this beer. It was part of our anniversary gift. Um, so I seemed it only, you know, only right that since she bought it, she, you know, get to taste a little bit of it. So uh, want to try a little bit? Sure. Hint: she really doesn't like beer. There you go, folks. Once again, enjoy good beer.